guys, my name is Lisa Grace and this is Nailcomer's YouTube channel. I hope you enjoy this video. Hello my lovelies. Um, right, okay, so this nail. I've already done my cuticle work. I've already done my nail prep. I've popped my tip on. I went in with nail primer and the Ultra Bond Platinum. And then I've done a very, very thin base of crystal which is the clear um you don't need to do the step i'm doing actually doing a full nail in bluebell um and it, it, it is essentially a core powder it's all acrylic um however it just makes it easier if you're doing a, a different color change in future um sometimes i just like to pop a clear base down um so that when i'm filing the blue off i can protect the natural nail by only going to the clear base uh, right, so I'm using my Nelkami A8 brush and I've got the Professional Speed Primerless Liquid. So coming straight in with the blue. This is stunning. Oh, that is a stunning blue. love this so much. So when we use that on a different nail, because we were using it at a different consistency. Yeah, we were using it very thin. Colour. Yeah. But that is a gorgeous blue. It's a lot darker, isn't it, than it is yeah. in the actual... Yeah, well, most acrylic powders come out darker um, because obviously they are well, it is still in wet powder well. form, yeah. So this is it, you know, when my clients are looking through the acrylic powders on the shelf, any that they're picking out, I'm like, you know, let me do a sample of this to show you how it's actually going to come out. So you've got two choices. When you're working with um, your Genesis coloured acrylics. Lando, stop looking, darling. Good boy. Um, you've got a couple of choices. Um, so you can build the whole nail up in the blue um, and then file that up once it's set. Um, alternatively, you can cap it. So you don't. they don't need to be capped. However, I choose to cap them purely because when you look at how much... It's costing you for, uh, what size are these tubs? 15 grams, aren't they? Or Is are they right? slightly bigger? Not sure. I'll have a look in a second. Oh, I'll have a look on the bottom. 20 grams. 20 grams. Okay, so the cost for 20 gram of coloured acrylic against your cost for the large tub of clear, clear acrylic. Is... I mean, that I've got the biggest tub of clear acrylic there. They do do other sizes. That's 175 grams. Um, yeah, other, they do other sizes. They've got the 45 grams as well. Um, and I think, I'm not sure if they do another size. Um, you just need to weigh your options up. You can build the whole nail up in the blow. Alternatively, just do a thin colour, just a thin coat just for the colour so that you're not using so much of it. And then cap it with the clear. Uh, both techniques are absolutely fine. So up round your cuticle, make sure you're getting that nice shape round your cuticle. Oh, that colour and I just, I just need a bit down this side. I've got a bit of a thin bit there. Really pretty, isn't it? Don't get that yellow glitter in it, Lisa. There we go. Right, I'm just going to literally give that a couple of minutes to set and then I can cut the whole nail in clip. Which is over there. Really like this colour. Oh, it's on me. I'm finding that a bit of fluff and it's on my finger. Yeah, so I used this blue on another nail, but I kind of diluted it down so it's not as as bold as it's looking in this one. But I love it. He's such a happy dog. That is just his tail wagging, bless him. It's your tail, Lando. I think he knows we're coming up to the end of filming for today. I sense these things. Right, so make sure you pop in your apex in as well. He's such a mummy's boy, isn't he? Yeah. 
beautiful boy. Second most handsomest man in the county. Yeah, I entered uh, one of my Labradors into a dog show last year. And he won second place for being the most handsome boy. Second most handsome boy. <laughs> Obviously, I'm biased. I think he should have got first. He should have got first. He is incredibly handsome for a dog. And he knows it. He bloody well knows it. I see. I think his big <laughs> brother's super handsome. Well, the judges didn't think so. <laughs> yeah. Right, I'm going to give this a couple of minutes to set and I shall be back. Okay, we're all foul and buffed up. So I'm just going to wipe over with the Kiwi Cleanser. Love this blue. This blue is gorge. Yeah, really, really like that. So, so you just wipe put dust, dust on it. it. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's wipe that over again and then not touch the nail. Let's just wipe. Um, right, so again, we, we always have a top coat dilemma, don't we? We can never decide which top coat. So I'm actually going to be using... Wiccan. So this is a satin top coat. So it's kind of matte without the feel of it being matte, but it's got beautiful white specks added to it, which I want a few more than that. So you're not going to see many of these because of the 3D art that we're doing on top. But you'll get the hint that they're around there somewhere. I really like that. Right, chuck them in the lamp for a full cure for me, place them. Okay, right, 3D acrylic. It's been a while. I'm going to oh, keep yeah. it really nice and simple. We're just going to do some little flowers. Um, so, of course, I'm going to be using my... When it focuses... A 3D brush. Mini 3D acrylic brush. And to brighten up this nail and bring in a little bit of contrast, we are using <gasps> wasam colour. Freesia. Freesia. Again from uh, the Indian summer. Is it? Is it definitely? I think Indian sure? summer is all the flowers. Are you sure? Are you sure? If you're not sure, just search for it on the website. There is a search engine on the website. Utilise oh. it. Oh, yes. Love it. Good kind of looks, choice, Lisa. Looks a little bit like shell pieces, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, I really like that. And I love the feel of this as well. Love that. Oh, yeah. I love it when a plan comes together. Am I speaking too soon? There's still time for this to get messed up, isn't there? Pl plenty of time for this to get messed up. Right, so into your monomer. So pick up a whatever size bead, whatever you want to work with. Just let that settle. I'm going to wipe off my brush and get it into a nice point. And just let that bead just kind of settle for a minute. If you work with it too soon, it's going to bounce back. You're going to be fighting against it. Just let it do its thing. We've got the assistance of the, the matte top coat on this as well, that it's not going to flood like it would on a, um, a gloss top coat. So I'm just going to press into that and see what consistency we're at. That's kind of pliable now. So the middle of my flower is going to be about here. So I'm going to get my brush and point it towards the middle of the flower and just push that out. My brush is at a nice angle that it's nice and flat to the nail at the tip, but then it's lifted up so that it gives you this, this raised edge along here. Right, happy with that. That pink looks amazing. I know, it's so nice. Okay, so same again. Pick up a small bead around about the same sort of size. Pop that down. As you get more and more confident with your 3D, you can start picking up multiple beads and place them down so that while one is setting, this one can start settling. Oh my God, I'm really hungry. It's just hit me. We do this every time, don't we? You get to the last mm -hmm. video and they're like, oh, food. I brought so. some with me. Sorry, you will hear me munching on some of the videos. I do apologise. Not quite set this one just yet. So I'm just giving that a couple more seconds. So again, we need to keep our brush pointed towards the centre of the flower. Oh, sorry. So try again. Perfect. Pull that out. Keep the brush tilted up somewhat. And make sure that those petals kind of overlap like so. This one, you can see this one's gone all matte now, so that's ready to go. So 
so what we're doing with this is we're doing the one mid one middle in the flower one flower in the middle and then we're just going to do some cascading petals kind of in like a swirl across the nail so i'll let one set in these um cascading petals as well do them in different sizes so get some slightly smaller ones and then some dinky ones and then let's go for one down here. Check this one. Not quite ready. Give it another minute. I love these colours together. Sam, I really like this nail. Blue and pink are gorgeous. I really colors like together. this nail. There we go. That one's ready. We're going to add some uh, dinky little crystals as well. Don't you bark, Max. Just a car going down the street. No one's coming to kill us. Are you sure? Oh, fine. Sam, I really like this nail. <laughs> I can't cope. <laughs> oh, I love it. So when I was picking out the pink, um, Sam went and grabbed a purple as well. She was like, I know you don't like pink. So maybe try this purple. I was like, no, I really want to do this pink. I'm so glad you went with that really pink because that pink is and I think, really is a part of me. I think more so because even though this blue is very bold, it's still quite dark, isn't it? Yeah. It's a very bold but dark blue. Do I want any more petals or do we think that's nice? I'm kind of worried if... This last one that you're yeah. waiting on, but then... You, I'm, I th I'm worried yeah, about overdoing don't it. Don't overkill it. It's gorgeous. I'm so glad that you went with Wiccan as well because it's sort of um Yeah, it's just added that extra element to the background, hasn't it? Yeah. Right, Sam, if I were my crystals, like the ear look, what do you want in the middle? Should we go for like we got these ones? Um, I think so they're the ABs. And um, I'm not sure, I don't know. Do you want some caviar in there as well? Mm, I don't know, Lave. What we got? I could go for a... I'm not even in shot here. Right, I'm back in shot. Ooh, now you see, if you got... See, they've got... They've got... Well, they've got a bit of all sorts yeah. in it. Or we could just whack... I don't know. I there. think you want AB crystals. I'm tempted with the... Um, so I'm there's, there's your normal the, ABs. Them ones, but I actually think, I think the clear I think the ones. clear ABs. Yeah. yeah, so let's do... I don't know. Oh, what about? Dave gave me some micro crystals. Did he? Where did you put your micro crystals? Well, that's a good question, Sam. Um, I am going to get over here at some point for Lisa and reorganise because I love organising. And this needs it. <laughs> Dave, where did you put them crystals? <laughs> I don't know. Actually, don't know. Um, might have to bounce off that idea, I'm afraid. Uh, I can always find them and use them in a, a video at a later date. I actually... Oh, there's the caviar. Let me just look in this one tub. Because I know he gave me some. And they are the sweetest little things ever. This is the downside to having so much stuff. Hmm. Dave, just send the nail mail to me and then I can come <laughs> over and organise it when I give it to her. Yeah, I, don't, I think we're going to have to knock that on the head this time. Um, but I'm going to dig those micro crystals out and we'll definitely use them at some point on a video. Um, right, okay, so I'm going to use just the standard velvet matte top coat to apply these. Because uh, I don't want to run the risk of getting an And Sam, I really like this nail. Mm -hmm. Really like this nail. So I'm just using just a fine liner brush just to pop a blob in there. 
crystal picker up i need to order a new one of these as well um do i go for yeah let's go for dinks i think really tiny dinks yeah so really that tiny big dinks and then let's get a couple of them this crystal picker up has seen better days i'm telling you let's grab a couple of these it's it don't want to pick up anymore it's lived out its days of picking up crystals it now just wants to sit there and do nothing get off oh wow samantha 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 i love this right, let's just bunch them up a little bit right wipe that in the lamp let's have a little look at this Oh, for it's alright, you put it in, I'll press it. No, it's just... There you go. I'm just trying to make sure that I don't oh. tilt the nail to... This, this, I, I, it's giving me heart palpitations. Either that or I'm just really hungry and I'm going to pass out. <laughs> A bit both. <laughs> I am really hungry. Um, I love these crystals. They are gorgeous. Just look how sparkly they are. Right, chuck that one out. There we go. So that's got rid of the the shine um let's do maybe just one here mm, one here let's do one up here and one there we'll stick with the dinks because they're just so cute I couldn't tell you which nail from today is my favourite. Actually couldn't tell Actually, you. a really good thing because that means that they're all fantastic. I mean, I mean, nails are always fantastic if you get your nails done by Lisa. Unless you come on a Friday night. Because then I'm out of ideas and I just want to go inside and watch Black Mirror. <laughs> so don't ever book him with me on a Friday night. Right, pop that in the lamp. Let's wait for that to cure and then press have a look. The press the button. I really like this. And I love that Wiccan as well. Mm. It's so nice, isn't it? Well, that does say it's a mel... It does say velvet top coat. Well, no, it doesn't. Does it? Velvet oh, matte matte top But it doesn't coat, feel but like... It doesn't feel like the velvet yeah, top coat. It's definitely got a different finish feel. to it, hasn't it? Mm. Yeah, really like it. I need to use this more. And obviously, along with this, there is the... I can't remember what it's called, guys, but it's the black one. I think it's called Wicked. I might be wrong. Um, so it's the same, but it's got black specks in it. And then, obviously, you've got the... There's the gold, rose gold and silver ones as well. Mm. And they're all bloody beautiful. Love this nail. Really, really love this nail. That pink is fire, isn't it? What was that pink called? That pink is called Freesia. Freesia, that was it. Ah, <sighs> well, there you go, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, feel free to recreate it. Use a, an assortment of different colours. Uh, post it in the Facebook group, the Nelkami official Facebook group. And feel free to tag me. Um, I really like seeing people's recreations of my videos. So um, please do that. Um and don't forget, if there's anything you'd like to see Lisa do, tag yeah. her. Yes. And if you need her to go back over anything she's done in the past, yes. also just send a quick tag and I'm sure she'll do it. Yeah, not a problem, guys. Right, thanks ever so much. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Don't forget to give us a little thumbs up, hit like on that video, drop any comments that you've got down in the comment section below. And more importantly, make sure you hit subscribe so that you get a notification for all of our future videos. All of the products that I've used today you can find on our website which is nelkami.co.uk and I will see you in the next video.